It is a touchy subject many are happy to shy away from. But the moment some members of Ghana's parliament, together with the clergy, sponsored a private member's bill in parliament sometime in 2021, it opened the floodgates for conversations and debates. Christians and Muslims are free to pursue their beliefs, but not at the expense of the rights of other people. We want the churches and the mosques to speak out against the attacks on LGBTQ people, against minority groups. Members of the public, civil society organizations, rights groups and advocates have all been heard by Parliament's Constitutional and Legal Affairs Committee, which is considering the controversial promotion of proper human sexual rights and Ghanaian Family Values Bill. After a long period of non-action, the subject has been reignited, of course, by the visit of U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris, who maintains a strong stance on the LGBTQ plus debate. I feel very strongly about the importance of supporting uh, the, the, the freedom and, and supporting and fighting for equality among all people and that all people be treated equally. I will also say that uh, this is an issue that we consider and I consider to be a human rights issue and that will not change. Her Ghanaian counterpart, President Ekufuadu, attempted this response. The bill is going through the parliament. It's going through the parliament. The Attorney General has found it necessary to speak to the committee about it regarding the constitutionality or otherwise of several of its provisions and the Parliament is dealing with it. It is this aspect of his response that has got Speaker of Parliament, Alban Bagby, particularly livid. At the end of the process, I will come in. But in the, in the meantime, the Parliament is dealing with it. And I have no doubt that the Parliament of Ghana will show, as it has done in the past, one, first of all, its sensitivity to human rights issues, as well as to the feelings of our population, and will come out with a responsible response. Well, Alban Bagbin would have none of that. The bill will be passed. This is the word to His Excellency the President. There is no way he can intervene. That answer he gave. That is now before Parliament. And when he gets to a stage that he has to, he will come in. Hey, please. This is legislation. This is not execution. It is the strongest indication he has given to ensure the bill expected to criminalize some of the activities of homosexuals in Ghana is seen through. Let's get this clear. Once this bill is before here, he is not in charge. I am in charge. Yeah. I hope the U.S. Vice President is not here gone. But she will read from me. But some rights groups and advocates say the utterances of a Speaker of Parliament amount to a gross violation of the rights of people. President of the Humanist Association of Ghana, Michael Osei Sibe, is confident posterity will remember Alban Bagmin for the wrong reasons.